I'm here again playing some Kerbal Space Program and thought I would share a few tips with you after wasting a large portion of my life attempting to pilot a Class E asteroid from Kerbin to EVE I ended up throwing away or canceling this contract because it was going to take too much time, even more time than I had already spent, but I thought I would share some of these tips. So this all started when I foolishly accepted a contract to capture a Class E asteroid in an orbit of Kerbin and put it into an orbit around EVE. So that didn't sound too bad initially, and it paid over 2 million credits, so I accepted that contract. I uh, did not know that the asteroid I was about to intercept uh, or generally Class E asteroids have a mass of over 2,000 tons, or at least the one I encountered was over 2,000 tons. So the most frustrating part of this mission for me was the consistent wobble induced every time that I attempted to push or pull this massive asteroid. Um, it honestly seemed impossible to maneuver something quite this large, and it took me a long time and a lot of trial and error before I figured out how I could actually pilot this thing as if it were a spacecraft. There are three key points to successfully piloting an asteroid. One, loading a saved game eliminates excess wobble from your maneuvers. Two, you only need RCS thrusters enabled on the far point of your pushing or pulling spacecraft. And three, you will get a more efficient controlled burn with minimal RCS correction if you precisely and manually target the asteroid's center of mass before every burn. On to some specifics. After my first round of wobbly, uncontrolled burns, I added multiple control pods mounted on all sides of the asteroid. Each of these pods consisted of three large reaction wheels and solar arrays. As you can see here, I've lost some of the solar arrays on most of the panels along the way, but as long as you have a few, I think that's fine. This setup allows you to maneuver the asteroid as if it were a small spacecraft. So you can see here I'm plotting a maneuver node and I'm easily able to maneuver the asteroid and prep for my next burn. So you can see this takes a while, and after you complete the maneuver, you'll notice that you are subject to excessive wobble that will never completely go away. And this will result in uh, trouble every time you burn. So the only solution that I could find was unfortunately loading from a quick save. Um, this is the only way I was able to get around the problem. Loading eliminates all wobble from the spacecraft and the asteroid. So if you ever pick up a contract like this, be prepared to quick save and quick load frequently to eliminate excess wobble. Well, we'll see later that enabling RCS on the far point of your pushing or pulling spacecraft is one of the most important things to successfully piloting an asteroid. The other equally important part of that is disabling RCS on all of the additional parts of your ship. The ship in this case being the asteroid and all of the control pods. So you can see here I'm disabling RCS tediously on every single RCS port. If I had thought ahead and realized that this would have been necessary I would have done this using an action group before I launched this thing. So here's a basic example of the wobble problem in action without RCS enabled on the far end of the ship to correct the wobble and without a precise positioning of the ship targeting the center of mass of the asteroid, you will inevitably be slightly off from the center of mass of the asteroid. 
The closer you get, the less RCS correction you'll need to stay on target. But here you can see that I'm slightly off and I do not have RCS enabled. And in even just a few seconds, I'm starting to burn and veer off target. So I can tell that this is not going to be a good burn. So I've found that it is absolutely critical to enable RCS on the far end of your ship that is either pushing or preferably pulling the asteroid with a combination of large reaction wheel control pods, quick saves, loads to eliminate excess wobble, and RCS only on the forward control point of your ship. You should be able to burn indefinitely with high precision. Here you can see a really nice burn closely targeting the asteroid's center of mass with minimal RCS correction. This is in preparation for a burn to EVE, but I'm going to save that for another video. Good luck out there. Hope you never have to try this.